Hi, I'm Nash Lin and thank you for watching iLearnToAnimate.com Now, this does not look like a bouncing ball. We are going to create a bouncing effect by going to the motion editor, click on the motion editor tab. If you are unable to see anything like what I'm seeing now, it is because we have got nothing selected. You can select the circle and you will come across this motion editor screen. For now, it is a little bit squashed. We can't see a lot of details. So all you need to do is move your mouse in between, left click and drag it longer. Here you will see all the attributes to animate your bouncing ball. Vertically, scrolling, you are able to see that you will be animating the x-axis, the y-axis, x will mean horizontally movement, the y-axis will mean the vertical movement. You are able also to animate on the scale and skew, but for now, for this exercise, we are not going to touch this. So I can reduce this transformation by clicking on the small triangle button to the left of transformation. So to hide it. Right now, you can add in a very simple ease by scrolling all the way to the bottom and click on the positive sign on eases. Click on left click on this and we can choose bounce in. Once you have done that, if you are unable to see the bounce in eases, scroll down further, you are able to see it over here, bounce in. Currently it is set as 4 and if we were to play back our animation by using this scrub, nothing has happened. It is because these eases are not applied to our animation yet. So what we should what we should do is scroll all the way up, click on the Y axis, which because we are animating the Y moving up and down vertically, click on the no is, and you are able to see that bounce in is in your selection. Click on bounce in. When this happens, you might be able to play this back and you can see that it's bouncing in the opposite direction. If you find it too hard to see the timeline from 30 and this ends only at 5, you can increase the span by moving a mouse over to the 25 viewable frames. All you need to do is left click and hold this number and drag all the way to 30 and you will be able to see from frame 1 to frame 30. So, of course, you can see that our bouncing ball is bouncing the opposite direction. So what we need to do is, we can go back to our timeline by clicking on the timeline tab. On the first frame, playback hit to the first frame. Okay, we're going to pull this circle from frame 1, pull it up all the way to the top. And we're going to move our timeline to frame 30 and pull this circle all the way to the bottom. When we do animation with flash, all we need to do is move to that particular timeline we want to animate the position and we move and you will be able to see that a keyframe is being created. So as a practice, I'm going to just show you how I do it. I'm going to just shift this to the right hand side Press on enter to preview it. This is how it looks like. Of course, if we are not satisfied with this animation because we only want a vertical bounce, we can remove this in the middle keyframe, holding down command and left click to select this cell. Once being selected, right click and 
go to clear keyframe clear all this keyframe will be gone now let us just play back all the way from the front press enter this is our bouncing ball if you find that the timing is not really right what we can do is go to the motion editor tab we can go all the way to the bottom and change the ease value from 4 to 12 and press enter once you press enter um, we are you can play back over here but if you really want to see how it looks like you can go to the timeline and press enter at times if you are changing the settings over here to 16 press enter you are unable to press enter because you'll be toggling between this value so all you need to do is just click on the stage so that you're not selecting the value select this object back again and press enter and you'll be able to see the animation this is your first animation if you realize there is a star beside the file name it means that it is still not saved you have made some changes but it's not saved so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on file save as and we're gonna save the file as bouncing ball 02 why 02? because this version is where I animated and 01 is where I created the ball only click on save to look at this animation you can press command enter and you will be rendered a bouncing ball animation so you have just created your first bouncing ball animation thank you very much for learning with ilearntoanimate.com we will create more tutorials in the coming week to share with you.